Hi, Precalculus. I have a short lesson for us today. We're going to be talking about factorials. So factorial notation is if n is a positive integer, the notation n with an exclamation point, but we read it as n factorial, that's actually the product of all the positive integers from n down to 1. And just so you know, by definition, 0 factorial is equal to 1. So n factorial is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 da -da 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 -da, times 3 times 2 times 1. So let's find the values for the following. This is actually so much easier than it initially looks. We're going to find n factorial for n 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 1 factorial is just equal to 1. 2 factorial is equal to 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. 3 factorial is equal to 3 times 2 times 1, which is equal to 6. 4 factorial is equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is equal to 24. Easy. Uh, we can also do this here. a sub n is equal to 2 to the n over n minus 1 factorial. We're finding it for 1, 2, 3, 4. So a sub 1 is equal to 2 over uh, 0 factorial, which is just equal to 2, because remember 0 factorial is 1. a sub 2 is equal to 2 squared over 1 factorial, so that's equal to 4 over 1, which is 4. a sub 3 is equal to 2 cubed over uh, 2 factorial, so that's equal to 8 over 2, which is equal to 4. I'm kind of running out of room here, but a sub 4 is equal to 2 to the 4th power over 3 factorial. So that's equal to 16 over 6, which is 8 thirds. Okay. We can also evaluate factorial expressions, and this is kind of fun to do. So here we have 12 factorial over 2 factorial times 10 factorial. Well, we can actually think of this as we can rewrite it as 12 times 11 times 10 factorial, right? We don't have to explain, expand this all the way out because you'll see here. So then we have 2 times 1, which is kind of pointless, but I'll leave it there anyways, times 10 factorial. So now you can see that we have 10 factorial and 10 factorial. These cancel out. And we're left with this. 2 goes into 12 six times, so this just becomes 66. Here we have n plus 2 factorial over n factorial. We can think of that as n plus 2 times n plus 1 times n factorial over n factorial. These cancel out, so we're just left with n plus 2 times n plus 1. All right, that's it, short and easy. If you have any questions, bring them to class, and I'll see you then. Bye.